This is uh, Piper Sarmentosum, and uh, I, I think the common name for it is either wild betel or dwarf betel or something like that. Um, and we actually have uh, the real betel, Piper betel here. I believe that's the leaves of it right there from that vine. There's a lot, a lot less of that uh, than there is of this Sarmentosum. Uh, and the Piper betel is used in um, Southeast Asia and Micronesia as an adjuvant to um, the betel nut chew uh, that's sort of the social drug of choice down in that area, kind of the coffee of that area, uh, and it's used with the seeds of Arika Katachu, the betel nut palm, and uh, they mix it together. And the, uh, the alkaloids or the, the active constituents are kind of similar to nicotine. They, they hit those uh, nicotinite or nicotine, uh, I forget the name of the receptor, but they hit those receptors uh, that nicotine uh, also channels into. But the uh, sarmentosum I don't believe is used as often or it is even used uh, to, to that effect. This, in this area, the sarmentosum is used um, by chefs um, who come by and grab these leaves sometimes, and I think they use them for wraps for cooking. I don't know if they quite do it like a, an empapillette style of cooking uh, or technique, or they just use it as a garnish. I'm not sure. I've never actually talked to any of the guys. And I, I was in culinary for a little over 20 years. Um, we did uh, a few other types of uh, leaf wraps. So I'm assuming that's what they do with them, but I'm not sure. So anyway, Piper Sarmentosum, and uh, this is growing in Indian River County. And it's in the Piperaceae family, if I didn't mention that earlier.